Well, hi there. You're watching the world of Cafe Wrestling. And if you're doing it right, you're seeing my boy Nick, Daniel, and Joey. Tell them I said hi, and Mickey's got you. Damn it, Joey. Damn it, Joey. <laughs> God damn it, Joey. You have one job. One job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to World of Cafe Podcast Year 2. And with that being said, welcome to World of Cafe Podcast, a pro wrestling podcast. I am your host, the non-contagious, the non-sickly, over-COVID, Nick mother effing Venom, along with my two good friends, the Professor Stagley Crocker, and the man that makes Big Bird jealous, Dan, the mother effing man. With us tonight, we conclude our four-man guest that we've been having for Pro Wrestling 225, Iron Sharpens Iron. And a most historic, fuck you, Dan. And the most historic, historic Iron Man match, a fit of four Iron Man match. And tonight we ended with by far one of my personal favorites. I've been waiting to do this episode for the very, why is he, how the hell? I've been waiting to do this for a very long time. So without further ado, I give you the Russian destruction, your current reigning, defending Gulf State Wrestling. Pro wrestling, pro heavyweight champion of the world, the one, the only, Mr. Vladimir Ola, the big, bad, flaggy, dandy himself on World of k podcast. Why? Because you need more. Woo! Ola. I fucking love it. Yeah. My man. That's great shit. Welcome to the fucking show, my guy. We're hype. Glad we to be here. Hype. Are we ready to go, boys? Jeff's like, oh, I'm not we sure are. I'm supposed to be showing off these guns on Twitch. <laughs> good <laughs> good evening, fellas. Right. I just got out. He just got out of church and try not to ruin it too much for me. I, we're, no promises, Jeff. <laughs> I mean, we got your boy oh, on the Jeff, show. It's over with. It's over with, Jeff. It's we over. Have, Big we have Vlad is ready to go. He's amped up. He's ready this Saturday. 60 minutes. 60 minutes of pain. Got new we, got ding ding. we got a new follower, <laughs> Chain Breaking <laughs> Carrie Groves. Thanks for the follow. Oh, my boy, Carrie. What's up, brother? Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow, my guy. The See, Chain that's the... Breaker. That's right, man. Man who. who... Actually, he's going to be a future guest on the show pretty soon. Um, very soon. As a matter of fact, next week we got... Um, maybe maybe he wrestles for this right here one day. I mean, speaking, if he does, lose. Speaking of that, I'm glad you brought your hardware because making its way back to World of Cafe Podcast, la, my oh-so-beautiful, oh-so-gorgeous, freshly repaired... IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. Fellas, I'm happy to have gold wrapped right here on my shoulder, just like the old Vladdy Daddy himself. And I got That's two. the one I beat Kenny Omega for. And that's the one I beat you for as well, sir. Whoa, Hit you with the painkiller. Hit you with the painkiller. Don't, pain don't work yourself into a cannonball. Hey, it Nick, is, is it true? Is it true that Dave Meltzer gave Vladimir Koloff his first? Nine star review. I thought it was a ten stars. Ten star. He gave big, he gave Big Vlad ten sickles out of ten. Ten, ten sickles out of ten. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to Get laugh. Get your facts straight, off. Nick. Ten sickles out of ten. Ten sickles ten out sickles. of ten. You hear that, Jeff? Ten sickles out of ten. Ten it sickles. Is Russian sickles. Ten of them. Ten, ten of them. them. Russian sickles. Now, oh, see Jeff, that right there? One, ten of those. Jeff Jeff almost flagged the show because of quote unquote terrorist threats. It's like, oh, we have the Russian destruction. That screams. That screams. Uh, flag. I said, like, yeah, you go ahead. Stitches. Uh, Snitch is going to get stitches. 
<laughs> That's right. Don't you don't start shit. There won't be shit. There yes. you go. So, Vladdy, what brings you? What brings you? Finally, you come to What a Cafe podcast. For those of you who don't know who you are, please introduce yourself. Tell the world who the hell you are. Well, I am the big, the bad, the forever, which means I'm forever and ever and ever, Vlad. I am Vladimir Kolov. And what I bring to you along with one of many, and big Vlad means many, championships, I bring with you a mission. A mission to ensure that every wrestling show, that every wrestling podcast, that everything wrestling related and so much more gets more Kolov. Why? Because you need more Olaf music to my ears. So, what's your mindset going into uh, this Saturday? Obviously, you're going to bring the pain. Obviously, you're going to be destroying already. This is my mindset. I lost the Pro Wrestling 225 SEC Championship in March of last year to Jordan Jaw under crazy circumstances. Yeah, you got screwed. You got screwed. I got screwed. A freaking superhero. Wild thing under a mess, which I have not forgot. Uh, it's one thing I don't forget. I never forget about things like that. And wild thing, rest assured, your day will come. However, ever since then, I have not received my rematch. But I've watched battle royals happen. Where guys like cold-blooded Wes Warren get an opportunity. The Mayor's Cup for a championship opportunity that Braxton Hunter won. That you and got yet, screwed out yeah. of. Absolutely. I screwed. I said it. Screwed. Got robbed. But now Bam the Bulls day it. has come. The day has come. And what a match for it to be. Four of the very best, not only in pro wrestling 225, but around today. Yeah. 60 minutes. Iron Man match. Whoever has the most falls when the clock strikes zero walks away with the brand spanking new pro wrestling 225 SCC championship. And it is a mwah. It is a beauty indeed. Yes, Vladimir Kolov's plan is very simple. I'm going to show the reimagined Braxton Hunter. I'm going to show the cold-blooded Wes Warren. And I'm going to show one of the overboys, Jordan John, exactly why I say I am the best in not just pro wrestling 225, but in wrestling today, damn it. I'm going to show them with brutality, with ability, with force, with everything I've got. I'm going to show them why I'm the very best. And when the clock strikes zero, you're new. And two-time Pro Wrestling 225 SCC champion will be without a shadow of a doubt. Vladimir Kovlov. Hell yeah. That's so a I, got, I got a question to ask you. We all know that you're going to win decisively. It's, it's, yeah. Like, no Absolutely. problems. Absolutely. So I'm, I want you to make a prediction for us. How Not many, a prediction, uh, Dan. No, a spoiler. A spo there you go. A, a spoiler. fucking spoiler. How many falls are you going to be up on all these guys? You're going to get all the pins. As many falls. damn falls as I want. You See, got this damn is the right thing. you are. It, it's all about what I want on yes. Saturday night. I will play with my food however I please. Now, look, I'm not going to deny the three I'm in the ring with. They are very talented. Absolutely. Braxton, Braxton Hunter has ability like none other. Wes Warren is aggressive like none other. Jordan Jaw has the heart like none other. Yeah, he but, does. Vladimir Kolov, but Vladimir Kolov brings so much more to the table. Yeah. Vladimir Kolov is going to show once again, like a broken record, why he is the very best. These boys think they have me figured out. They think that because Jordan Jaw has beaten me in the ring before, that Braxton Hunter has pinned me in the ring before, they think they have me figured out. Well, first and foremost, boys, I am in the best shape physically that I've ever been in my life. I am in the best shape mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and I have that instinct that I will do whatever it takes. I will sell my soul to the devil himself to assure 
that I get everything that I desire. And it's not just the pro wrestling to buy the SEC title. No, 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 no. If Vlad wants it all, he wants to become the first man in 225 to hold the SEC title and the heavyweight title simultaneously. And Big Vlad will do just that. Hell yeah. He's a lion among kitty cats. And, uh, and not only that, I've been watching Vladdy's workout stuff, and he's lifting like a thousand pounds. Like, God damn. Dude's unstoppable. Like, and not for nothing. Unstoppable. The man is literally doing thousand curls. Like he's doing a thousand curls, a thousand pounds. Untouchable. Untouchable. Not not to take anything away from the three guys. I mean, the two guys, Braxton and Jordan, they actually showed up. The other one had internet issues, which I mean, it's not his fault. That's because he lives in a cave or some weird place like that. He's a weird little shit. He is. Now, <laughs> now, now, is this true, Vlad? Apparently, Jeff said grandmas from all over New Iberia love What's up, you. Kylie? Grandmas love me. I know he's talking about the grandma in the first row that was yep. so passionate. She wanted some of big fat. She wanted the big, bad, bloody, daddy sickle. But I had to say, no, no. I have a match that night. I have to whip Braxton Hunter's ass, and that's what I did. Now, if you've got the time and if you've got the money because you're quite old and quite ugly, then maybe we can talk later. <laughs> Big Vlad brings a lot to the table. Joey, Joey, we got to ha have an L.A. night on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Don. 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 So, so Vladdy, let me, let me ask you this. This is uh, current wrestling stuff. What is your deal with Vince McMahon? Vince McMahon has resigned out of WWE, and WWE has cut official official ties with Vince McMahon. Well, it's absolutely crazy, isn't it? What's come out the details, and 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 but but at the same time, at the same time, are you surprised? I mean, I, I mean, think about, think about, think about some of the things you've seen on your television screen over the years. Yeah, I mean, Vince McMahon's crazy. He's crazy. Rich I mean, a mad genius, but crazy. So no, it not not surprised. Uh, maybe there may be a lot more that comes out with that. But uh, you know, now that Vince is gone, you know, hey, um. If you guys need a new head of the table, a new brainchild for that, you know, give Big Vladdy a call because I can take care of all that. Needs more coal off and all that stuff. Yeah, it that's a, a shoot, Triple H. That's a shoot. That's a shoot. Yeah, it needs bang, a bang. Russian mind. Absolutely needs a Russian mind. Absolutely, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind seeing Vladdy knock the shit out of uh, Ilya Dragunov. Title. Mind that would be fun. That would be I'll fun. Be fun Russian sickle, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. They would be saying Ilya Dragon who? Exactly. Yeah. They'll be they'll be chanting Vladdy Dragon Dad needs more coal off. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Needs more coal off. <laughs> but yeah, like the the shit that Vince did is insane. Like, well, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that, but like a lot the of shit. Yeah. Page lawsuit online. Yeah, it's like 67 pages. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's insane. So everything's so vulgar and gross in details. But the thing is, <laughs> I, I, is I not... want to act like I've read all of it. I want to act like I've read all of it, but the stuff I did read was just was it was out. It was out there. It was. Yeah, out it was, it was insane. Insane. How does he not get any kind of? Jail time or prison time for this? Because he's Vince McMahon. Dude. Money talks. Yeah. Money talks. Money talks. Well, rubles, rubles talk, my friend. Yep, Russian money is all better. Exactly. Yeah, we'll Absolutely. Get... The the name is better. Rubles rolls off the tongue. Oh, much yeah. better it, it sounds it sounds romantic. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've romanced many of women with rubles. With rubles. With rubles. Man, rubles alone. Man, with your career, you swim in rubles, huh? Absolutely, absolutely, That's my man. I I am the current holder of many many titles, including this one. You can only imagine what I bring to the table. That's my More damn world champ. Oh, it. they just throw they just throw rubles at you. Absolutely. How do you think I wrestle in all these southern states? You think I stay in this place? You need to come to Houston. I need more Koloff already. 
I've been to Houston a few times, but what I can tell you is, is you need to bring your candy ass to Denham <laughs> Springs on Saturday. You've already told me what your plans are. Cancel those plans. Make exactly. The drive. Don't be, don't be what you Americans call a jabroni. And come on out to Jimmy Springs and witness history. Yes! You can go see that other show any other time. Oh, my God. And, but, again, and when man. you go to that show, you let them know that they need more cold off also. But uh, Saturday night, your plans, Benito. Denham Springs, <laughs> Louisiana, Iron Sharpens Iron at North Park, 60-minute Iron Man match. You get to see what I do better than anyone around. For you, 60 know, minutes. you know, you, you, you'll you see old Danny K. Fabe in 2024 sometime in Louisiana. I, I give you my yes, word. Yes, this Saturday. This Saturday. Because <laughs> if, if not, then I'm going to put out a personal hit against you. You will become an enemy of mine. And you do not want to become an enemy of mine. <laughs> no, no you don't. I, hold on, hold on, no. Nick, Nick. Hold on. But what if I pay you in, in rubles? Then I could be on your good side. Eh, I don't know about that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty <laughs> ill-tempered. I'm pretty ill-tempered. I hey, hold a grudge well, very easily. Money, money usually doesn't help that. I can give you. I mean, more you're talking you to the big lady. Very, on, you have a very cannonball face. I mean, I can imagine giving you a cannonball. It would be romantic, if you will. Yes, you know like let's book you know what? Right I now. would be. Hold on, Nick. I would be honored to take a cannonball from you. Oh, if you're not there Saturday, you won't have a choice. <laughs> uh, Hulk Hogan, honor, honor, what do you have to say? Hang on, Vladdy. So, hang on, hang on one second. So, uh, Dan, Dan, we got Hogan, you booked on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. I appreciate it. Hey, Hogan, how do you feel about He was Dan? wanting me to get down and dirty with him. Oh, I got that fan blowing Hell yeah, right. brother. What'd you say? <laughs> right on my crotch. <laughs> Put the brakes on it. I said, brother, you know, that's not my deal. Not into the strictly dickly stuff. Thank you very much, brother. But I'm going back to professional wrestling. I'm Thank you, Hogan. You know, I beat Appreciate Hogan you. in 95. Yep. yep. He's a jabroni. That, that was at SummerSlam, right? Sure. In Moscow, Russia? It was in Russia Slam. I Russia, slammed him right, Slam. right in front of the Federation I did. It was over. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah, it. WWF was in uh, the, Russia one the night. The NWO did the J-O-B to the NMK. That's <laughs> it. That's it. That's right. I remember Please. that match. I'm trying so hard to keep it all together, but Vlad... You know is, what? We... <laughs> to is, you, brother. This is fucking amazing. You're going... Look, look, look. You're going to be there Saturday night or I'm going to have no other choice. Cannonballs all the way around for everyone. It's Cannonball Worldwide. Yes. There you go. Cannonball Worldwide. Cannonball Worldwide. There we That's go. It. That should be a t-shirt. Go to PureHudsonTees.com forward slash Big Vladdy Daddy and go get No, no, no. You said it wrong. <laughs> you jabroni. You screwed it up. You had one job and one job only. It Busted is Pro up. Wrestling Tees. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash needs more cola. Needs more because cola. Because you need more cola. And you need to get your big Vlad swag. This shirt is not on my Pro Wrestling Tees. It's an exclusive, but what he's wearing is... Right here! But this right shirt, here. if you're in Denham Springs on Saturday, like my boy yeah. over here will be, if he loves his life... You can get this shirt, very limited quantities. It's got the date. It's got the Iron Man. It says needs more coal off. I almost showed you my abs, but then I would have to charge. Go to OnlyFans.com forward slash big. Only big Vlad. Vlad. It's only Vlad. Oh, I'm sorry. Only Vlad. When we on the road to 500 subscribers, that way Dan can start OnlyFans. Yeah, he's got he's oh got one God. called Only Vlad. Yeah. You're you're going to start in OnlyFans at 500 subscribers? Yeah, we're cheap. Um, we I will not be purchasing. Low. I will not be purchasing. You should. <laughs> you should. Hey, Vlad, you should. I have some really like my really good uh, strong <laughs> no, 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 no. You're quite ugly, actually. Well, I appreciate it, my man. <laughs> Oh man! I mean, you make, you make you you make the guy wearing the mask look beautiful. 
Oh, of course. That's what I'm here to do. Hey, hey, is your blood pressure high? Your face is almost as red as mine. Ooh, me, or, <laughs> me or the dude in the you, coat shirt? You, jabroni. Me? <laughs> is this turned into a roasting session? Of dude, man? this must be, man. I'm High not blood pressure, glass. head ass. <laughs> 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 oh god oh, oh my god oh Darjari's head ass <laughs> <laughs> hey Dan remember that time that uh, Beer City Bruiser roasted me I was drinking Michelob beer yeah I guess this is my payback <laughs> this huh? is payback bitch <laughs> oh my god this is great oh. it's, an all, it's, a, it's an all in good fun good fun for me that is yes oh yeah Good to hang out. Good to hang out with your boys on Water Cafe Podcast. Which yeah, by the way, right. Water the Cafe Podcast needs more cola. Yes, and I'm Hashtag gonna buy a cola shirt. Be a thing on here. There you go. You're you're getting you're getting brownie points. Buy all of them, and then you win. You win a prize. Yes. What's the prize? Yeah. What's the what? Nothing. What's the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me talk. To Acknowledgement. You. I I acknowledge the fact that you bought all my shit. There you go. <laughs> I bought. See, I bought. I bought a shirt from Perez Tees and then Big Shop Cartel. I think it is. It's the big. It's the big bad Vladdy Daddy one. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. My man. My man. And see, I made he's that all right. That's why, I, that's why I like him. That's why I like him. The other one has been tell, telling me how he's not coming to the show and this, that, and the other. And, and, and you know, I used to do this thing, and I used to call it Slapomania. Oh and no! I, I just I love slapping the shit out of people. Now, if you don't show up to Denim Springs, you may be next on my target list. Please do, do it, <laughs> do it, Vladdy, do it, Vladdy. I will make you sing soprano. Soprano, <laughs> soprano, soprano, the high notes. Yeah, the high notes. Soprano. <laughs> Yo, oh man! Acknowledge the tribal Vlad. Yeah, the tribal Vlad. Acknowledge the tribal Vlad. Acknowledge, accept your tribal king, right here. That's my new thing. Your tribal Koloff. Tribal Koloff. That's not a bad one. Shit. See, I'm giving you ideas for t-shirts. It's great. King Koloff. King that. Oh, I've been a king. I've been a king many times. Many times. With many abroads. <laughs> oh, there was, this, there was this one back in 2016. I, uh, never mind. Another story for another day. <laughs> St. Vlad, Tribal Koloff. I mean, shit. Just crown me. Just crown me. I'm the best. I'll tell you what. If you win, you got to get your crown. You have to come. You gotta come to Perez. I may as well the... order that shit now, then, because I I'm going to win well, this I damn can't order right now, I'm so bad. I can't order right now. I'm going to order. I'm going to win the Iron Man match. I'm going to be the Iron Man of Pro Wrestling Two Two Five, and then I've got so much more goals to achieve in Pro Wrestling Two Two Five. The world is mine. He's more of a king than Jimmy King himself. But yes. Oh, a crown, Jimmy King, not your throne. <laughs> no wish for a foreign object. <laughs> Speaking of foreign objects, are you going to put somebody through a table? Or are we going to see some table spots, damn it? Oh, I I, I will put somebody through a table. I'm, I'm going to do a table. Matter of fact, there's a commentary table. There you go. There you go. With this commentary team, you've got Lando Dollar, who I admire. Yeah. I really like Lando. And then that piece of shit, Spalding. Yeah, you put Spalding to the table. I don't like Spalding. Put Spalding so after to I the put table. someone through the broadcast table, I'm going to grab Spalding. I'm going to Google Google Spalding. And Google. then I'm going to squeeze the life out of him. So, what? You know, in that 60 minutes, not only will I beat these guys, I'm going to kill a man. <laughs> Great homicide. Christ. Nobody safe. Need more no cops. Everyone gets it. Even you, These cannonballs are rated E for everyone. 
Oh my. <laughs> That's a hey, bro. That's two two five. If you're watching, we just got another quote just now. Cannonballs are ready to eat for everyone. Oh, I told Cody King that last year at Super Gold. I let her know. Oh Jesus! I eat for everyone. <laughs> the, the women's champion Amaris Blair. Cannonball. Yes, Scooby please. Doo, who's gonna Cannonball. Be there Saturday night. Cannonball. Even the commentary team, Cannonball. The ring announcer, Cannonball. The wrestlers, Cannonball. The fans, Cannonball. Whoa, the whoa, 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 whoa. Not the fans. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Everyone gets a Cannonball. I'm like, hey, baby, I'm you bitch. Yeah, Dan. <laughs> my man is, my <laughs> man's hype. He's fired up. He's fired up. I'm ready to go, boys. Saturday is only around well, the corner. Well, let me ask you this. Are you getting a big entrance? Are you getting a grand entrance? I mean, what's up with that? You need to. I'll tell you this. I, I'm go I, I, will, I will share a secret that only you can keep. Don't tell nobody. Well, I mean, you're on the podcast, so Jeff's going to I don't give you. a shit. Listen to me. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You know, Big Vlad has had a lot of looks in Pro Wrestling 225. I've been big, bad, super gold, Vlad, decked in gold. I've Power been Vlad. the Russian devil himself. Like, that was a good one. And many, many more. Well, exclusive for World of Kayfabe podcast right here, right now. I've got a brand new look. Ooh. Some brand new gear. Ready to deck out. This Saturday night in Denham Springs, Louisiana, and it is something that I've never done before. You're going to have to be there to see what it is. Oh, you heard it first. You heard it first. Now, I want to switch switch gears a little bit with you, because today you got announced that you're going to be at the upcoming RetroCon in Morgan City. That's right. Nice. Talk to your boy. What's happening? What's happening with that? Well, Big Vlad will be there on Saturday, March the 2nd. I'll be there the whole day. I'll have Hell merchandise yeah. and pictures, and I'll probably walk around. And Big Vlad, he's a little bit of a gamer. He's a little bit of a retro gamer, if you will. Are you he serious? Retro stuff. He does. He does. He does. Matter of fact, can't see the shit, but look at that Go! right there. Oh! Y'all never realized you had a Mario tattoo. Yeah, see, see. Hell, you don't bro. know everything about Big Blood. We just became best friends. I don't care what the rest of them think. So Sorry, I will Jeff, be there. I'm feeling... I may be on the hunt for some things myself, but they reached out to me. They said that RetroCon needed more Koloff, and I could not agree more. So Excellent. here we are. Come and see me. March 2nd. So uh... Actually, hold on. Go hold ahead. on. You mentioned that. I had a hand in that, by the way. Just want to let y'all know. I had a hand in it. Because I know great talent. Smart Boom around! Man. Smart man. Great minds think alike. You know I mean? So, so hey, Vlad, have you ever, you know SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, right? Yes. Oh, no. Have you seen World of Kayfabe SmackDown Here Comes the Pain with my boy I'm on going the cover? to puke. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting dissed over here. Look dude. at that. Look at, look at my boy. Vlad is doing it for the kids. Yes, Fuck the is. kids. Fuck oh, God damn. <laughs> he said, I, I hate <laughs> those little shits. I hate you. I hate children. I, <laughs> I have children, and I hate them. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jeff. We're sorry, buddy. Jeff just got out of church. You gonna say that type of shit? Oh, Jeff's 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 kid, Emmett. He's a good kid. He's a oh, good. He's I awesome. like him. Yes, yeah, awesome. I like Emmett. He's beautiful. a good kid. He's beautiful a good kid. kid. The, beautiful. If, if if they like if they like Vladimir Nikolov, they get the pass. See, my kids don't like me, so screw them. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you got Jeff's you got Carrie saying off. that's right. Every Lobby. morning, every morning, every morning when my little when my little Beulah gets up. She looks at me and she says, good morning, daddy. And I look at her dead in the eyes and I just very softly tell her to shut the hell up. <laughs> that bloody daddy's trying to drink his damn coffee. You go in there and get 
You go out there and clean the yard until it's time to go to school. I don't care that it's snowing and that there's a foot of snow out there. No, it will not get you mittens. So, so, do you make her like hit the tree and everything? Like, I know, like, some girls they train for like boxing, they hit the logs and everything. I will like, throw her into a tree if I have to. <laughs> You're gonna throw her into a tree if you have to? Absolutely. Oh my God. You know, that's parenting at its best. Here She's at Warner my podcast, we don't condone these type of actions, but... But Koloff condones them. But Koloff, well, yes. That involves a right to need for everyone. Parenting needs Koloff. That should be the that should be tonight's episode theme. Ready to if, if, if every parent ready. raised their children like I raised my children, then they would not be little brats at these shows going, You suck, Koloff! You suck! Boo! 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 I want to, those kids, I want to smack them. I want to slap yeah. them around. Yeah, boy, and boy. I am not afraid to hit the child. Do you <laughs> prefer like when you hit a child, do you prefer like a good backhand or like an overhand? Whatever knocks them out first. That's good. <laughs> I prefer a good backhand. He's going to get kicked off. Again. You look like you've been backhanded. You know, I probably <laughs> have a couple times. <laughs> Thank Your you, face man. is so red, you may have been backhanded today. I, pro You know, I might have. I think I might might have pissed somebody off. Rush you think? Her head butts. You think? The yeah. concussion is getting to you, comrade. <laughs> this, like I said, this this could top Mickey Knuckles episode. Just I saying. think it, I think it's going to. It, I think so. This is I the think. greatest episode ever. You yeah. know what? I think it might end up being. It is, and it's the start of our year two. So hell yeah! Yep, we got cool on our this day, we, year two. Year on two, this terrible day, we two. Started for the kayfabe. Terrible twos. I remember when my child was two, I had to kick her in the oh, yeah. face. You, gave, you kicked her in the face? Absolutely. She kick? wouldn't shut up. Gotcha. Did you, did you give her the broken? Don't you kick? kick your child in the face when she's not listening and she's being loud and stupid? I stomp on her back. <laughs> now that's weird. <laughs> That's weird. Why would you stomp on her back? You are you are a sad, strange little man. Gotta give her a good Koloff stomp. Koloff doesn't <laughs> stomp. It gives the sickle. <laughs> this is your partner on here? Nick, Nick, when you reached out to me, you told me there would be no weird shits on here. Here we are, though. Here we are. Stomping on YouTube, children's backs. We, we, are apologize. You we apologize. Are you, I believe that you need to apologize to everyone watching right now for your sad, disturbing, weird shit comments. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, God. I got a drink on that That's one. great. That's your stomp on children's backs. That's great. That's your Easy, retort. Chung Lee. Easy. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, God. Oh, you see, you said half my guys out of here. Jesus Christ, Vladdy. <laughs> you should oh, really apologize see, for this. This Ooh. is why I'm the best ever. The best, oh. the very, very best. <laughs> you know what? This one's for you, Vlad. Oh man! Oh my God! I'm on, I'm on the second one right now, and I'm having a time of my what life. What are you here. drinking? What are you drinking? Uh, oh, Monster. It's the uh, the Unleashed. Yeah, yeah, you're drinking Monster. What's he drinking? Uh, Pineapple Paradise beer. What the strange little shit you are! <laughs> Pineapple beer? <laughs> Wait. What? what you got? What you got? Pineapple beer. Yeah, it's not bad. What he's kind of fruity shit is that? Glad <laughs> he's drinking SpongeBob. <laughs> You're literally drinking SpongeBob. An alcoholic SpongeBob. <laughs> An alcoholic SpongeBob. That's actually Next a good you're going to tell me that you like Krusty Krabs. <laughs> oh, my God. No, when I, when I, when I was... What you have Krusty Krabs? 
No. <laughs> Last Dan, oh, I like Dan, Dan, Dan's got an appointment to get taken that taken care of in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ, I hope so. I hope so. I don't know. I, I mean, I want you to come to Denim Springs now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Yeah, I hope Dude, this, this is, not getting flagged on me. Oh, oh, this is fucking great. This is by far the best. What's episode? so fucking great about having crabs? <laughs> Yeah, Daniel. Jesus Ooh. Christ. Nobody doesn't want crabs. Too stupid. Jeff says Russians prefer headbutts. I do enjoy a good headbutt every now and again. Of course we do. Well, I'm not Russian. I'm Native American. But... You're Native American? I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I liked it better when he was Rosen Dan. <laughs> you, you, lo you, lost, you lost me at American, you see. Well, in this case... I'm, I'm Russian. Russian. I'm Soviet Russian. I hate Americans. Uh, you know the one thing I hate? When they chant, big stinky booty. And chant this to you. Stupid, I blame Big Ramp. Big Ramp, you're on my list. You're on you my list. You gotta put Big Ramp to a table. You just have to. You're on, you're on my list along with the guys this Saturday and the heavyweight champion and Wild Thing and the guy on here that has crabs. You're on the list. I love the, the shit fact. Screwed. I love is, the fact that he went like this. Like, is this like, am I like is this like a it. shit list? Wouldn't you like to know? It's the Russian hit list. The Russian hit list. Yes. Yeah, Brian Pillman, you're on, you're on Vladdy's uh, shit list. Well, it's not the kiss list because you have crabs, so <laughs> it's damn sure not that. I get a weird itch every Daniel now Daniel Krabs. Then. Oh, my God. No, it, 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 it's normal for you at this point. No, no, no weird about it. No normal. <laughs> oh, shit, I can't, I can't change. It up I can't change his name. You need help. You need psychological help along with physical help. Physical and psychological? You now, need help that I cannot give you. I'll nor do in, I care to. You know what? For you, I'll look into that, okay? He's lying. You Vladdy. should not look into it for me. You should look into it for yourself. <laughs> so, Vladdy. So, Vladdy, you're talking about old school gaming, right? Look, yes, sir. I'm going to drop my damn controller. Look what I scored the other day. Thanks to Davey, by the way. A Sega Dreamcast. Look at but, that right there. It's but the beauty. fucked up thing is, the one that was messed up, your top fan, your biggest fan, who's on the who's on the uh, chat right now, doesn't have a Dreamcast, a Dreamcast game to sell me. He doesn't? He doesn't. Wow. Jeff, slacking in your macking. Lacking in your macking. And that also goes for me other fan too, Davey. Davey's another one. He didn't have he didn't have any games either. So yeah. Your boy is salty salty than a French fry. I'm reserving them for Vladdy. Well, apparently That's you right. Know. Yeah, who cares about Nick? Vladdy does. Nick's okay. Oh uh, okay. See? <laughs> oh, this is awesome. okay, okay is a lot better than than Krusty Krab being on my list. See, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you made him dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> so listen, from now on, at least once every episode, even the ones that I'm not here for, you must refer to him as Krusty Krab at least once. <laughs> Welcome back, Krusty Krab. <laughs> Glad to be back. Jeff, F you. Nick buys his belts. Vlad earns them. I earned this one, and I've earned many others. I've got about. And I earned this seven? one. Seven titles right now? I got eight I got after eight. Saturday? I got eight. I'm going to earn this damn title for 60 minutes. And that belt looks fantastic, too, on top of that. It that is a beautiful, the brand new oh SCP God. title is beautiful. It will go great. It will go great to my collection. And then, but listen, boys, it's not just the SCC title. You see the Super Gold Rumble. Yeah. It's right around the corner in March. And Big Vlad is going to take that SCC title that he's going to acquire, and he's going to win the Super, Ro the Super Gold Rumble. 
My pick. My pick to win it. That's going to be in uh, Homa, too. And then it's me. And that other overboy, if he wins his title match this Saturday against Simon Phillips. Ooh, that's true. I forgot about that match. The other overboy. I the saw other it in overboy. person. Beautiful belt. White really pops. How the hell you saw it in per- All right. Who showed him in person? Who, who showed Jeff in It person? wasn't me. Well, I know it wasn't you. It, it had to have been uh, Peter. Hey, Why do you say it like that? Killing it, East. I don't know. Shit. Hey, is Michael Tomsick in the chat right now? Says I am from Tomsick. Killing it, Ace. I don't, I don't think that's him. Oh, it's weird. Thanks, pimp. pimp. <laughs> oh Jesus! So anyway, <laughs> yes, my child. I wanna, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna take this time to uh, to sweet you on that great. Great uh, little chat that you did with the boys the other day. Yes, because uh, when 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 Spencer had you down with the other with the other three guys, who is Spencer? Kinda... Huh? Spalding. Oh yeah, Spalding. Yeah, that's Spalding. that's his it. name. Oh, Spalding. But either way, Spalding. Had you down, and y'all was talking, and sure enough, you did this little number right here, and I had to stop, and I had to laugh my ass off because it was so great, because only you can pull it off. So, I well, you see, there's there. a reason I did that. You see, Wes Warren was talking about our little tag team, the Cold War, Cold War which was never a thing. It was never a thing, but and I was, did this right gone. here. I did this right here because I already have a tag partner, and we do this. We 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 do the the two hey, sweet. Hey, things. Oh, 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 oh. We do this too. We also do this too. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, like whoa, 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 whoa! Don't get don't get Not weird. Like don't get Not weird. like that. Not like that. Don't get weird. It's twenty twenty four. Don't get weird. Things, but don't get weird. Oh, we do this. I have a tag team partner. His name is Charles West, and together we are the Pride. And so that was my little shout out to Charles. So funny thing is, WWE is trying to get that name. Don't get me st- Wait, I heard. I heard about they, that I damn. I cut off on that one. They, they, get me started on that shit. They, Let me tell you. If Bobby Lashley and his boys started calling themselves the Pride, then they go on the list alongside with Krusty Krab and the others. <laughs> almighty and almighty Russian sickle. Street oh, profit, got a profit on this ass kicking. So Jeff has a good question, Vlad. What's your forecast for GSW on February seventeenth in Morgan City? Any opponents in mind? What's my Daniel. forecast? Pain. <laughs> Wait, what? His Let me tell you that is never dares try to challenge the big bad Blandy Dandy for this right here, the GSW. Oh, big Blandy Dandy. That's right. Oh, big Blandy Dandy. See? I better hear that ringing in Denim Springs. Oh, I'm going to make sure. Whoever dares challenge me for this right here, this beautiful title of mine, their fate will be the same as every other person. I will defeat them soundly, and I will still be the reigning and defending forever Gulf State Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Whether it be Christian, whatever his name again, I don't speak his name. Whether it be Jordan John or Orion Awesome or a Chain Breaker or a New Face, or even if it's Yo, Gracie, or dare I say Mustang Mike. I wouldn't mind seeing you cannonball Mustang Mike. I wouldn't mind that. I want to cannonball Mustang Mike. Personally, I wouldn't mind that. Until the boom goes bombed. (laughs) I actually uh, got my tickets for the uh, the show for GSW on on the 17th. So Good. You should be there. You should be there. You should be there. So, that's actually... That's actually why I also want to bring this up. The Wing Eagle Belt will be there. It will be there. It will, Good. It will be there. That's a nice-looking belt. Along with uh, the Big Blue. 
Big Blue that you held. I can't earlier. wait to take them both into my possession. Don't I mean, that. I can't wait to see them. Don't do not do that. Don't be that guy. Hold on, myself and my partner, uh, Christos, got our eyes on Mike and Gil. I don't want cannonball smoke. <laughs> oh, shit. Carrie's calling you out, dog. Carrie's calling you out. What did he out. say? Say that again. He said, hold on, my, myself and my partner, Christos, got our eyes on Mike and Gil. And he also said, I don't want cannonball smoke. Your comment. Well, there's a lot of smoke with those cannonballs. So, awesome. you, I, I tell you what. You guys go win those GSW tag team titles. Please get them off the, off the stupid Bill Gracie and stupid Mustang Mike. It will make my day wonderful if you can achieve that. Shit, hell yeah. I might even give you a title clink. You gotta give me a title clink. If you win that SEC How much money do you have? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, you have to. Dinero. Rubles. I don't know about the rubles. Nick gets a clink. <laughs> Nick, Nick's gonna bring the IWGP and and clink it and then no! it falls off. Nah. No. <laughs> I was after just repairing that, yeah. I don't know. You clink it and it falls off. <laughs> uh, yeah, the lettering. Yeah, Careful, the lettering SpongeBob. Careful. Hey, Nick. Yeah. Nick, when I come, Nick, when I come down there, I'll bring my IWGP belt. Like, you mean when you come fall? down here this Saturday? <laughs> yeah, this Saturday, Nick. I'll, I'll, I'll bring this belt too. Not Denim that Springs, belt. Louisiana. Iron sharpens iron. You know what, Fatal four-way sixty-minute Iron Man match. Big bad Iron Man Vlad. Bro, that's actually pretty good. Iron Man Vlad. That's a great yeah. name right there. Big bad Iron Man Vlad. Dude, the be... man, the wrestler, better than all the wrestler. Nice. Dude, this is great. So anyway, I, I know you watch current wrestling and all that stuff. What is the sure. what 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 is the company that you watch the most? Like what have you been watching lately? Well, honestly, honestly, I watch a little bit of everything, but not frequently. I mean, I follow the products, both both major products overall. I've uh, actually watched the uh, Hard to Kill pay per view recently, TNA. Nice. Mainly, mainly because of Alexander Hammerstone and Josh Alexander's match. I oh. I actually wrestled Alexander Hammerstone back in September of last year. I remember oh, wow. that. I so, remember that. So, that was a big opportunity for me, and I definitely enjoyed the show. I'm glad TNA TNA being back is is a breath of fresh air. Yes, yeah. And I think I think they're going to have a good year. I think they're going to. I, I would so. not sleep on TNA. I did watch the Royal Rumble or Jordan Grace. I was just about to say I that. <laughs> Man, Probably the biggest biggest reaction of the night came from her. Let me ask you a question, Vlad. Do you think the women's Royal Rumble match this year was better than the men's? I do. I do think it was better. Now, I, do now, I don't think the men's. I don't think the men's was bad. I think the women's Rumble had a good bit of storytelling, but overall was uh, nice surprises and a lot of big moments. The men's was more centered around the storytelling. I mean, it yes. was not just that. It was centered around the current roster. It wasn't just right. 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 Boom! Edge is back. back. Boom! Hurricane is here. Boom! Darby Allen's here. Like no, what? like oh, oh. I, I do think I'm just I saying think surprises they, in general. I do think that when they lack the surprises, it's a bit of a disappointment. But there was there was major major storytelling in that match. It was it was a lot more akin to what they would do prior to every Rumble having like five or six big surprises. Hey, Nick, isn't your trigger finger trying to go off? Remember you were talking about a shoot? You were going to talk about CM Punk? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Krusty Krab, calm down over there. <laughs> what, 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 shoot? I, uh, yeah. Look, I still, need to, I still need you boys to tell me what the kayfabe is to begin with. Oh, what is a kayfabe? Shit. It's it's Go keeping ahead, uh fake from real. Yes. What? <laughs> what? Keep it fake from real. Fake from real? <laughs> that has to be the worst explanation I've ever heard for that. 
<laughs> trying my hardest not to laugh right now. A world of kayfabe, and we and and, and I don't understand the kayfabe. Part. Okay, okay. Old man yelling at cloud. Calm down, boomer. Calm down over there. <laughs> no, but. Uh, I was mad. It should be the, because... should be the world of Krusty Krab podcast after tonight. <laughs> we just need Dan to take his yellow shirt and put some black spots on it. Oh, hey, hey, you, you, you know I gotta screen. represent Macho Man. <laughs> he, he's rolling over in his grave. <laughs> he's like, this man of crabs is wear my shirt. When did this turn into a fucking hour roast of me? I love it. But... I know one thing. Mexicans going to really love this episode. Oh, man. You, this should, is great. you should not have told me. You should not have told me that you weren't coming to do that. That you were going to go to the show, that, that other show in Houston, Texas. No, fuck that. You're going to come to Denim Springs. Yeah, this is history in the making, bed. Dan. You dick. History in the making. You can go watch that other shit anytime. Not that this shit. It's pretty good shit. But you can go watch that anytime. I think Pablo Cruz is going to be there. Yeah, Pablo Cruz is going to be there. You can see Pablo Cruz anytime. When are you going to see a 60 minute Iron Man Fatal Four Way match? With me. You're, absolute, you're absolutely right. With me. With, With Vlad. me. With Vlad. The big, bad, Vladdy Daddy, this handsome son of a bitch right here. Yeah, we're definitely going to be starting a Vladdy Daddy championship. Oh, man. For sure. But no, um, how I feel about the Rumble. The women's was. Fucking awesome. It's great. It's great shit. The men's was shit. No, I'm joking. It was it was pretty good. For what it was, it's like what Vladdy said. I mean, it was it was good. It was mainly centered around storytelling and all that, but uh it was the next night that really pissed me off because Pepsi Man is injured again. Same injury. Tricep. Again. And, yeah, torn tricep. Again, yep. like this man just, just, just hanging up, dude. Just hanging up, hanging up. Take the, take the, take the kick, kick pads off. Take your wrestling shoes. Just call it a day. Was like, it the, was it the same tricep that he tore in AW? Did he yes. tear his tricep that too? Yeah, the same. Yeah, anymore? bro, yeah. the same exact tricep. Could be, could be a recovery issue. Could be a recovery issue. Well, and what was weird is like he tore it taking a. Future Shock DDT. That was the weirdest thing. And a lot of people are sitting there complaining that, oh, it was Drew McIntyre's fault. No. Not Drew McIntyre's fault. No. Although I want to say it's Drew McIntyre's fault, but it's not. It's a, it's a freak it's a freak accident. I, I tore my I tore the labrum in my left shoulder in twenty seventeen. Uh being slammed out from in the ring, rolling out of the ring. And that's what Jeff's question was about to be. Speaking of injuries, has Vlad ever experienced injuries during his wrestling career? And you just, you just said. I've had, I've had uh, a couple of concussions. I tore the labrum in my shoulder. I was supposed to take nine months off. I came back in four. Um, Vlad. I, I mean, Vlad the, the, the typical injuries that pro wrestlers deal with commonly, bad back, bad other stuff. Uh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to you're trying to m make me talk about my weak points mm -hmm. for Saturday. Yeah, Those Jeff. <laughs> that that's not me. Jordan, that's Jordan, that's Jordan. Jordan. That, that is your Hunter number one fan. That's literally I'm saying invincible. That. I've never been hurt today in my life. Yep. You hear that's that? Called, uh, that's called a calculated that, game plan. You hear that, Jeff? See, that's Jeff that's over here saying it. Jeff, are you a mole, here. sir? Jeff, are you a mole? Jeff's been paid off. Yep. Big Krusty Krab pay you off. <laughs> In dollar bills, not rubles. You didn't have the axiom. Well, we have Me money, SpongeBob. Me money. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Is your so show wait, not wait, mine? Wait, Krusty Krab, Krusty Krab. Give me your name again. Daniel. Daniel, all right, the moral of the story is that Daniel has crabs. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not like not like a violent case of them, but just like a mild case. Oh no, it's, it's very violent. Oh, like it's it a did. full it's a full attack. Daniel, 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 do you have do you have what they call a partner in your life? <laughs> yes, I have a wife hey, and a daughter. Hey, he's a this one. You have a wife and daughter? Yes. Well, I I'm, I'm 
I'm, I'm sure you have a beautiful family. Can I give them a little piece of advice? Go ahead, bud. Run. Run, okay. <laughs> From oh. me to you, run. <laughs> he, he, he has a violent case of crabs. Violent case of crabs. A, a violent case of crusty crabs. And so far with yeah. every medicine, it's been uncurable. Yes. Yeah, nothing has worked. The, the, the quiet guy said that, so you're, yeah. you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, give him a name. The quiet guy. I get fucking crabs. <laughs> so Jeff wants to know what kind of crabs. Blue claw crab, ghost crab, soft shell, hermit. What do you well, have? He has, he, has, he has crusty crabs. Crusty crabs. Diagnosed by uh, Vladdy. <laughs> Big bad Dr. Vlad himself. Yeah, big bad Dr. Vlad PhD of pain. Absolutely. Absolutely. See, that, right that, right that universal title, it's red because he has crabs. That's right. That's right. This is the crab championship. <laughs> and he's wearing yellow because he wishes he was SpongeBob. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> that, that, that universal title shit. This is what happens when you tell me you're not going to be at the shows that I'm here to promote, comrade. You end up with crabs. Yes, yes. Just I was wondering I was wondering why I was itching right after I said that I wasn't gonna be able to go. Now I know. Now see this is this is this is Twitch, so we can we can clip that part where he says just that <laughs> and then with no explanation whatsoever, just post it. Viral, yes, Big bad viral Vlad. No, actually, viral like his crusty crabs. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is a crazy ass show. Oh, I love it. I'm your favorite wrestler now, aren't I? Absolutely. You've been one of my favorite wrestlers. So. I'm, I'm the, the greatest. I'm the greatest. I will say this. Ever. I will say this. The very first day I met you, I met you back in 2019. When my buddy called you Big Daddy Communism. Shout out to Josh, by the way. He called you Big Daddy Co Communism. Straight out of his mouth. We didn't know who you were. We didn't know. And I was like, you know, this guy screams money. Right? Guy screams money. money. And so. Money. Rubles. Every, rubles. Rubles. Every time I would go to the rest of the show, I'll see you. And it's like, dude's fucking awesome. Dude's throwing out cannonballs and. Do all kinds of crazy shit. I'm liking this guy so far. And then it was like 2022 comes around and we did this. It was like, man, I got to get a shirt. I got to get the merchandise and all that shit. Fucking love this dude. So, Mark, man, and see, and, 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 and I'm the best wrestler ever, not just because I'm entertaining, like on this podcast, talking about you and your crusty crabs, yeah, but I'm the crab best man. because when I get in the ring, I get the job done. I'm entertaining. I'm physical. I'm brutal. I can invoke emotion. Yeah. I can talk like no others. I can walk like no other. I have a look like no other. I am just damn good. Exactly. Exactly. Give me one second. I gotta go pick now, I was going to ask you, um, in your wrestling career, have you got to wrestle any Hall of Famers? I wrestled Hall of Famer Bullet Bob Armstrong, actually. Nice. Early on, early on in my career. And it, it was quite the experience. I, I am not sure in, in, the, in the way of Hall of Famers, but I have wrestled Chris Masters, when he was uh, an NWA, uh, I believe, North American champion? Uh, national. national. National, that's right. National, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I wrestled Masters. I, like I said earlier, I wrestled Alexander Hammerstone back in September. Almost, almost got the job done. Almost, but almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And into that. I, I've also been in a ring with Hornswoggle before. Oh, nice. Really? Oh, that went. Yeah, what, what promotion I was wanted this? To, I wanted to cannonball him that night. Uh, it, it it just did not happen. Yeah, that was for right. Battle Zone Championship Wrestling for their their Widow Festival. I heard he's Festival. a dick. Is he a dick in real life? I heard he was a dick. And Napoleon Complex. <laughs> Are you saying that because he's little? Yes. 
<laughs> oh my god! I actually had a horse swoggle autograph. Believe it or not. Hey, Jeff. Jeff said this show is ten out of ten sickles. There you go. Ten out of ten sickles. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Call me in the morning. <laughs> But no, man, like, uh, I, I used to get Russell Crepe. I'm actually thinking about, re like, resubscribing to him. That way we can start bringing back the uh, the Russell Crate unboxing stuff, the segments that I used to do. And uh, You should just buy Big Vlad March instead. Well, you need to tell Perez and T's to have an indie section and just put in Vlad. Just, just, just buy the shirt and unbox it, and talk about how great it is. I am buying the shirt. Buying the shirt this Saturday. In Denham Springs. That's right. Oh, if like you're in Denham Springs, you get this here. shirt right here. Limited edition. I've only got ten of them. I only got ten of them. Actually, you're gonna have eight of them left because two or there you go. Three. There you go. See the see that dwindling down very quickly. So make sure to run. I will also have my brand new cannonball party shirt. It's got a cannon and my nice beautiful head sticking out of it, saying "Needs more coal up." That will be available along with other little goodies. I will that be I getting that as well. I would. There you go. That. See, smart man, smart man. I'm definitely getting his. Uh, what is it called? Rubles. 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 Not rumples. Not ruffles. <laughs> ruffles is why you've got a red face. <laughs> Danny's he's talking about you, too stupid. I know he is. I'm selling, I'm selling merch and you're over here thinking about potato chips. <laughs> hey, Jeff wants to know any uh, fanny packs on the way for Koloff. Oh, I know why he's talking, because I wear a fanny pack. A fanny pack. You know something? I may need to throw some big Vlad fanny packs on the table. Better yet, better yet, you should get your custom GSW uh, fanny pack. GSW World Championship. Get me one of these right here with yeah, the belt exactly, on it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Get you one like that. On it. I, I could do that. I could do that. I could you do that. Mean? I'm a marketing genius. What can I say? Whoa, whoa, don't, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down there. Calm down there. I mean, I'm good with creative. I mean, I mean, it was a good idea. Don't don't get yeah. ahead of yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah, Dan. I'm sorry about you, Dan. He's not talking... Nick thinks he's invented the wheel yeah. now. Joey, I am the wheel. <laughs> yeah. I am the table. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I better get that this Saturday. I better I've, get I've that been, this Saturday. I've been on I Am the Table twice. Really? You really? You've been on Botchamania? Really? I can't I can't tell you the, the, the Botchamania episode numbers, but oh! but I have been I on I Am the Table twice. There has been two times where I've attempted to put someone through a table and it did not break, or that the table just would not break and got featured on the Botchamania. And but 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 if you're going to be featured on Botchamania, that is the best segment to be featured on. I'm about to say yes. Yeah, on because the table. Rent Rent the Threat was featured on there. On that was he? I did not know this. Yeah, he was featured. Uh, I think it was like one of the three hundreds. I think it was like three eighty. Okay. Like he, wow. he did a lot. Of, he did a ladder match and. The rope, I think, like the rope or the belt wouldn't come down or something. He oh, did some, it was some, some faulty shit. Crazy. One like, of my good friends told me, I was like, bro, that's Red the Threat. Like, oh, shit, that is Red the Threat. What the fuck? So, yeah, he made a bunch of mania. Hell like, yeah. No Congratulations, Red the Threat. I see it as, I see it as an honor if you make it a bunch of mania. Like we thought, hey, I mean that's not, that, and it's not a botch that was on him per se either. So I mean, I am the table. That's right. I I've been the table twice. That sack of shit. <laughs> well, we want to make sure the tables break this Saturday. Yeah, hear that, Matthew? Oh, yes, calling you, Vlad's calling you out, Matthew. Yeah, Matthew. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who said that? <laughs> Wait, who's Matthew? Matthew's from uh, Botchmania. Oh. Yeah, so wait wait a minute. What is your name? My name's Joey. All yeah, right, Joey, you've been quiet Joey, all night. Quiet. Stay quiet. <laughs> I'm talking to my producer like that. Try, trying to get me heat with Matthew. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. 
Gonna have heat with me, god damn it. Don't talk, don't disrespect my, my producer like that. He's a don't get a cannonball. I mean you can do that to damn, but don't don't do it. You're always a backbone. No, he's okay. He's okay. Just don't give me heat with Matthew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you heard it, Joey. At least, at least he doesn't have crusty crabs. Well, let no. me ask no so let me ask you this. You wrestled all over the world, right? You wrestled all over the world. What is your favorite place to wrestle? Man, that's a good question. I, I will I will tell you this. Every place has its own unique uniqueness to it. I don't it. want a cannonball. I'm good. That's right. That's right. Um Honestly, honestly, I've had some of my best matches in Ocean Springs, Mississippi for a company called AWA Pro Wrestling. I mean, that's where I wrestled Alexander yeah. Hammerstone. I had some big matches last year. Um, now, Pro Wrestling 225 here lately, I've, I've had a lot of big moments there. This Saturday will probably be the biggest match. I, I will dare say the biggest match of my career, the biggest test Absolutely. of my career. I've never wrestled for 60 minutes, whether it be a four-way or anything along the lines. So this will be it will be my biggest challenge that I will stand tall for. So I take it very seriously. I take my opponents seriously. I take the cannonballs and the sickles that they're going to get seriously. And then, of course, GSW, heavyweight champion. My very first show there, I was I was an unknown Ruski. Yep. Last minute kind of guy. And I went from there to the man. Yeah, because you debuted at GSW, I think it was in 2019. 2019, De December 2019. Yep. David Silver's retirement, I remember it very well. I was sitting third row. This is I before. wrestled Sean Black that night. This is before um, I was front row Nick. Because now I go, I, I get front row with every wrestling show. Right, right. I, I know somebody front row only. Her name is Liz. Every show she has to have front row. She, she will be there. She will be there Saturday in Denham Springs, traveling oh, yeah. from uh, Mississippi. Yeah, I'll be coming from Sheraton, right? But, there you go. But 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 Krusty Crab can't come from Houston because <laughs> there's another show down the road. <laughs> yeah, you see what I mean, bro? Shit. I better see you in Denham Springs or else. Spoiler alert, you won't. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. I tried inviting Vlad. I tried. I tried he, inviting him. He did. How far? He how did. far is the drive from Houston to Denham? You know, to be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know. Four he hours? never considered it as why. You said four hours. Look it up right now. Look it up. About four hours. You can make the damn trip. <laughs> get your hotel and all that shit too, man. I'll be work. I have to work that day. I get off right in time for TASW. Call in dead. Call in dead? <laughs> Call in dead. <laughs> hey, this is Dan. I'm dead. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm just going to let you know I'll be dead. No, 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 no. <laughs> you say, this is Krusty Krab, and I have Krusty Krabs, and I can't be there. Yeah, I'm itching way too fucking bad. It, see, it sounds like you've said this before. You know, I've, I've used it as an excuse. Don't use it again and come on down to Denham Springs, Louisiana. Five, all right. Yes, sir. Jeff just said five to six hours. Is it five? Oh, good. You know what I mean? That's, you I mean, still see. Don't be so, a wimp. So technically, Vlad. Oh no, wait. I was right. Jeff was wrong. I was right. Jeff was wrong. It was four hours. Four. I was four right. Hours. Even better. Make it happen. Make it happen. Yeah, but I really want to see you. So, and, 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 I'm, I'm, hey, brother, I'm trying to sell no, tickets screw here. You, Jeff. And anyone watching this right now, if you're within driving distance like the Krusty Krab himself, <laughs> then make sure your ass is in Denham Springs <laughs> at North Park this Saturday night. Oh, Iron you, Sharpens Iron. Iron Sharpens Iron. Fatal four-way 60-minute Iron Man match where the winner walks away with that brand new Pro Wrestling 225 SCC Championship. It would look good on you, too. And it would look good. It would look good on you. I ain't gonna lie. It would look fantastic. It will. It will. It will. It might be matching something that night. We'll see. Yeah, it could be. Could be. 
I, I, I would like to know what this attire thing looks like. I, I want to get it's only a few more days away. Just a yeah, few I want to get a sneak peek. Damn it! Sneak peek! Sneak peek! Sneak peek! It's almost here, and I can't well, wait. Show for me! It to be here. Don't show Krusty Krab over here. No, 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 no! You have to tune in to find out. Tune in to no, find no, out. No, no, show it to Krusty Krab over here. Yeah, no, 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 no Krusty Krabs allowed. No. Oh! He told you. Yes, he did. Oh Jesus! So I sent uh, my buddy Preston Bentley a uh, a picture of him. He looks like Alex Shelley, and there it is, right here. I can get it right there on the on the screen. There we go. There it is. Old Preston. Preston Benny looking like uh. He does. Alex Shelley. Kind of looks Del like. Delta like Preston. Preston's my manager. You didn't know that. Preston, my manager. I did not know that, but I Preston's I know Preston. Man. Well, 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 well. Now he's been promoted. He's been promoted. To my wise man, because on, on the name on the on my on my screen, it's called the Tribal King. He is now the wise man to the Tribal King. So there you go. Well, there you go, and I'm the Tribal Vlad. Exactly. We got see Vladdy. Vladdy has a spot on the reservation of relevance. You know what I'm saying? Because I am American. relevance. Well, that's what I'm saying. You have a spot in the reservation of relevancy. You there you go. There you go. You know I mean? Acknowledge it's the me. island of, rele of relevancy is the reservation because, you know, I'm Native American. Makes sense. You know there you mean? go. See, see, see. Or the I'm American part of thing, or but, you, but you know. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But no, um, let me ask you this. Who is your dream opponent? It could be oh, Dan, man. it could be living, it could be retired, it could be Dan. Sean Michaels. Woo! Sean Michaels is That's my dream thing. opponent. A dream opponent. But off the, if you want to talk active, the, the two the two that instantly I come off the top of my head is Brian Danielson. Yes. Yes. And and Samoa Joe. Nice. He was in New Orleans today, as a matter of fact. He was. That's so I've heard. So I've heard. Yeah, he was in New Orleans tonight. Those Nobody, are some uh, dreams, but also, but also, I just want to be in the ring with anybody that can challenge me. Anybody that can that can give me the butterflies, if you will. Dude, Jeff just had a good one. Vlad versus Vader is is his. That's dream. a stiff one. I like it. That's a stiff one. That's a very stiff match. Calm down. Well, calm down, y'all well, two. Well, y'all well, calm down. That's not what we meant. Shit, that's not what we I'm don't talking be about. Weird. It's don't not. be weird. It's not. Don't be weird. Crab. <laughs> now, Vlad, do you watch any... Do you watch GCW? A little bit, yes. A little, when I can. When I can. Do you, do you have anybody on there that you like watching when you do get the chance to watch them? A Blake Christian is pretty entertaining, I'd say. Yeah. Pretty entertaining. I, I've been on a couple shows with him before Before he really, really blew up and escalated. Is yeah. he still their world champ, Nick? Do you know? Yes, he is. Is he? And yes. Shane yes. Mercer is with him as well. Yeah. Which uh, is a guest of ours on the show. I like I like that, that Hammerstone and Richard Holiday are also doing a lot of stuff with them now. They're doing more stuff in uh, Fuego Fuego del Sol. Me and yeah. Fuego del Sol actually actually broke in around the same time and and I in the little southern indie circuit he's from Mobile. I wrestled in that area a lot at the time. Yeah. So I got to I got to see Fuego like not just before he went to AEW but like be, be, when he was first getting started. Right. What else like Serpentico? Serpentico so came from uh Elevate Pro Wrestling. Yep, yep, he's, yep. I never, I never wrestled for, I never wrestled for Elevate, so I never met Serpentico, but I, I do he still remember. Still there to this day. Yes, he's yes, still he, there. Is, he is. Him and uh, ah, oh, fuck, what is it? Luther. Luke, I was actually, him. I actually was going to work for Elevate at one point, right around the pandemic time, and then that happened. Dude, you you want to know what my last wrestling show was before the pandemic? What's Mustang that? Mike versus Tim Storm. 
This happened. Wow. This happened at um, Bayou. Was it Bayou Vista? Yeah, Bayou Vista Civic Center. Okay. Where you made your debut for GSW. Yep. Yep. Was where yep. Tim Storm versus Mustang Mike happened. This was I've by the way. Tim Storm twice. This was by oh, the way my very first front row seat show. Wow. Very first before the second one was uh, Jordan Jaw. Jordan Jai versus uh, Ray Fury, which is another one, which I think he's with NWA as of late. Ray Fury, is within, Ray Fury is with NWA. I've wrestled yeah. Ray Fury a few times. I hate Ray Fury. Come on, man. You got to love his ass. I hate Ray Fury more than anyone in the world. I cannot stand his mask. I cannot stand the face underneath that mask. I cannot stand his yeets. I cannot stand anything about him. Ray Fury is an awful human being, and I wish the absolute worst upon him. I mean, he does but have no, I've, bad wrestled, I've wrestled Tim Storm twice. I've wrestled Tim Storm yeah. twice, though. Yeah, exactly. And uh... my My last show... My last show was the Saturday before they shut everything down. It was yeah. for Diamond Championship Wrestling in Mississippi. I was wrestling uh, a guy by the name of Brimstone, and a lot of tickets were canceled that weekend because of the scare. And I could remember talking to my tag partner at the time about this, and he was freaking out over COVID. And I'm like, eh, it should be fine. And then Monday, I get like Ten cancellations and then lockdown happens. Yeah, dude, I remember that shit. Like, I remember the fact that everything was locked down, right? Because mm -hmm. like my last wrestling show was in Bayou Vista. I actually debuted the Pentagon Junior shirt that I would wear occasionally to wrestling shows and all that shit. Mm -hmm. I might wear it this weekend. Yeah, I might wear a kayfabe shirt. Yeah, the last show I was at was Royal Rumble 2020, man. This is before this was before me and Dan met. Yeah. This a lie. This was the year that me and Dan met, but we didn't meet just yet. Matter of fact, Hannibal uh Hannibal Jackson was still alive before he yep. unfortunately passed away, which was <clears throat> Because what year did we meet? Me, Nick, was actually, it actually, I was supposed to. I was scheduled to wrestle Hannibal and Jordan Joe for the first time in the Yeah. Uh, for, 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 and yeah. Month, later on that month, and then the pandemic started, lockdown happened, all the shows got canceled. I eventually wrestled Jordan, as we know, but I never got to wrestle Hannibal. It's sad because, I mean, just think if he was still been alive to this day, like, where would he be? You know what I mean? Like, right. you know what I mean? And it's like, number one, he would be, he would he would definitely been a guest on this show, no doubt about it. He would have been a guest on this right. show. And it's like to see like AEW starting, and like CM Punk was at AEW. Like he was a big CM Punk fan. I remember that. Whenever we would talk, we would talk a lot about CM Punk. It's like, dude, like it would be awesome to see CM Punk would come back. And it's like. When Punk came back in AEW, when he came to AEW, it's like it was emotional for me at least because it's like right. Jesus Christ, I thought about thought about him. You know what I mean? And it's just it, no doubt. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh my god, like it's actually happened. He's actually a part of this company. You know what I mean? And it's just it was it was pretty cool until he got fired because of stupid shit that he did, and now he's in WWE and he got injured. It's just. I don't know. What a crazy ride it's been for CM yeah. Punk. Man, look, yeah. it has been crazy. It's been an insane ride. But I feel like this year, wrestling-wise, this is going to be the best year that we've had in a long time. I was, I, just, telling, I was just telling someone the other day, um, she she's becoming more familiar. She, she did it backwards. She... Um, you know, most wrestling fans that go to indie shows, they they start by watching the television product, and then they yeah. go to indie shows. Yeah, she started going to the indie shows, and has now started watching the television product for right. the first time. And she was telling me about how, like, like she feels like she's missed so much. And then, yes, I mean all the errors and whatnot. But I was telling her, I'm like, I, I believe that you you are in for uh, the next boom. Yeah, the next boom of yeah, pro wrestling. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you you look at it now. I mean, with so many promotions now, back in the day, when you only had just 
WWE, WCW, ECW, and then New Japan. Because New Japan was still a thing. You know well, competition, I mean? competition is great for, for everybody. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 100%. And, a A A W obviously is a, is still a growing company, but they're doing very well. They have some of the best talent in the world. I mean, I think Absolutely. it goes without saying that WWE does too. Uh, and the, the best the best part about it, TN, TNA TNA killing it right now. Uh, I enjoy li a little bit. Don't watch a whole lot, but I do enjoy a little bit of MLW New Japan, yeah. obviously. But but the best the best thing about wrestling right now, especially, is that the, the thing that kills me. Is is people who complain about one show or the other show because we live we live in an era of pro wrestling right now where if you don't like that particular product, I'm um, I can almost guarantee there's a product right there just for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that, that you enjoy specifically that you can really sink your teeth into. If you're not a if you're not a WWE fan, then maybe maybe AEW is your taste. If AEW is not your taste, maybe WWE. Then there's TNA. There's you know Ring of Honor, which I know is under AEW now, but oh, uh, there's MLW. There's New Japan. There's uh, Indies. Yeah, Indies, Indies, Indies. Yeah, with and like Indies yeah. are more, indies are more indie national promotion. now. And these are more national now than they've ever been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah like fight I, I with, with, with with like fight TV, independent wrestling. That TV, there's so right. many, there's so that's many just, things that you can watch on the weekend. New wrestling constantly. That's just, that's just it's that. It's not just it's not just it's not just a it's Bring not a just box. a hey I got to go down the road and buy a ticket to see it. Like like it's everywhere now. It's more national than it's ever been. Yeah. Bro, Ring of Honor was in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, right. Like the G One Supercard. Exactly. New Japan and Ring of Honor was in headline an event at Massa Square Garden. That show, that show was so easy. You could say that it was more New Japan based. Like it, the Ring of Honor stuff on that show sucked. It was more New Japan, right? So, but here, really quick, speaking of New Japan, what do y'all think of Pro Wrestling Tees removing all of Okada stuff off? Yeah, they, I heard about that. They took all of his stuff off because apparently he's pretty soon he's going to be signing with WWE. What, what do you he, think about that, Vlad? He, well, before he before he does that, he's he's coming to wrestle Big Vlad. Oh, yes. that's why. He, I, I think it needs to happen. I'm going to sickle the Rainmaker. We need to get Vladdy nice. versus uh, Vladdy versus uh, Okada. I'm I'm a little buzz. I I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the thing. I like presentees, right? But for me, it took forever to get merch from presentees. But I didn't understand. It takes about a month because the people they actually make the shirts. Yeah, they're, they're printed. Not order. just like WWE, where okay, you need a shirt. Bam, let's go get a shirt. Bam. Send it like a couple weeks later, it's there. You know what I mean? Like when Pro S and T's is based out of Chicago, right? And the people make the t-shirts over there. So, like, for example, this Vladdy shirt that I have on came from Pro S and T's. The thing is, with with Pro S and T's, they jacked up my shirts up, printed isn't aligned. See, I had that same problem. That's another thing. I'm about to get to that. So, like, this shirt in particular. Thank God it didn't, but at one point, it was a little bit more this way. But now it's good for some odd reason. But like, what's I've crazy had... too? What's crazy too is is for the last few years, the shirts that I sell at my table uh, are printed by Pro Wrestling Tees. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, like, that was like another... I don't just I don't get them from a different company and then sell them on there also like that. Like everything comes from there exactly. because they, they they have a pretty good deal for wrestlers in terms of. Of right. printing because uh, traditional t-shirt companies it's a lot more expensive especially if like you want a black shirt and, and stuff like that for instance exactly and that's why when i found this one because the fun fact the show that was in morgan city where we did that picture you know exactly what picture i'm talking about yep. i found this shirt and they didn't have my size in this shirt so i had to go to pro s and t's and get this shirt yep and it was like all right cool but the thing is, I normally go for like the t-shirt style. I do the premium one because it's got, you know, a nice fit. It feels well. It's comfortable. All that stuff. That's just me. Like, and that's what I normally go for. So it takes about a, 
almost a month. So, like, for example, like, right now, I got two Sting shirts coming in the mail pretty soon. That is from Pro Wrestling Tees. And, you know, they got to make the T-shirt. That takes about a week to dry and all that shit. Then they got to ship it. So, yeah, it takes about three weeks to see them. Yeah. Three- yeah. Three weeks to a month. Yeah, well, WWE's been doing that lately, too, with where they're releasing exactly. shirts and then taking a month to ship them out, so... <laughs> well, my belts are becoming... They've been doing the pre-order stuff lately, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah I noticed yeah. that. CM Punk, matter of fact, if you watched the Rumble the other night, if you went on WBShop.com, they just re-released CM Punk's, like, the shirt that he wore for Money in the Bank 2011. The White Ringer. That, that shirt, yeah, the White Ringer. That shirt is available for pre-order right now, which is crazy, and that's that's gonna be the most top the top selling shirt next to R Truth, which yeah, ladies and gentlemen, R Truth is your top selling uh, t-shirt. Yeah, the leader of Believe the Judgment not. Day, bro. How you feel on the Judgment Day? I enjoy them. I enjoy them. I I actually think that they are better off as a group than they would have been with Edge. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Facts. Because, because with Edge, with Edge, it would it would have been a good group, but but with Edge, there's there's that cloud of, of Edge, and it's well, going to be about Edge, whereas it's really it's, been about them collectively and individually, also, if you will. Well, it's not just that; it's the fact that they were trying to be the next ministry, the Ministry of Darkness, if you will. And right. Edge wasn't wasn't cutting. It's like I don't want to have a group where it's like supernatural bullshit, where I'm like the next Undertaker. That's not me, and that's why he left. You know what I mean? And and it, it's 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 really good. You look at Damian Priest for example. Damian Priest is at his highest he has ever been. In well, his- Priest, Rhea, Rhea, Rhea was having having a rough time on the card before the Judgment Day, and that certainly helped. I yeah. mean, Dominic Mysterio. I don't think anyone could predict the the level that he's been with just his crowd reaction and and all of the above. But here he is. I mean, one of one of the loudest reactions of every show he's on. Oh, dude, dude, have you seen the Two K Twenty Four, bro? You think no. you think you think. The natural crowd reaction is bad? Oh, my God. 2K24 for Dominic is... Ooh. Really? They released footage? Well, they did, a, 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 like, I, I guess, realistic crowd or whatever. Yeah. And Dominic got, like, the loudest booze. Because I know I know, Up, Up, Down, Down today released vi- uh, gameplay yeah, they of did. the ambulance match. Yeah. Which, are you going to be, gonna be picking that up, Vlad? 2K24? I may very well. You know, I have I have not picked up a game in, in some time uh, as far as the wrestling games, but I may have to get this one. Oh, look what's coming Nick's way here soon. I'm going to send him that one. Why are you sending me that? I don't want it. Just nice. so you have it. Hell, hell yeah. I'm going to Actually... send him that what? and then this. No matter. I, I, so... have, I have the, the Genesis one, not that other shit. That is Genesis, Genesis one. Yeah. That was Genesis. That's Genesis. I actually the found the Super Archer. Nintendo version of that game. The other day I, I, I had both. I had both the Genesis and Super Nintendo versions. Nice. I'm actually, I actually got my Super Nintendo right there. As a matter of fact, I have them both because I'm hardcore. Oh no, dude! I have like Sega Dreamcast, I got N64, I got the PS2, PS1, PS3, PS4, PS5. Like I'm a PlayStation. I've guy. got I've got NES, SNES. I've got three different N64s. Um, oh man! Actually, I got I got the Jungle Green one for Christmas this year. I'm glad he was Fucking a good one. Hey. Nice. Um, well, I've got know. the uh, GameCube. I've got I've got every everything that from GameCube. there up. I don't have very many of the handhelds. I have this. But... So the handhelds. I actually almost got a game the other day. I almost got SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 for the PSP. Like, when it comes to handhelds, uh-huh. that's my favorite handheld of all time. Yeah, PSP was the great. The PSP, the PSP versions where you could get, I believe, Jake Roberts. Yes. Yeah. On, on yeah. to the PS2. I think, yeah, because you had to have some type of wire to connect it to the PS4. Uh, yep. P- by the PS4. PS2. I remember that very well, and I ended up unlocking Jake the Snake. Yep. 
But yeah, like, dude, like, at the time, it was ahead of its time. Because, like, it's a mini PS2 right there. It still, so plays, why... it still plays very well. Bro, yes. Like, the other day, I was playing it. I have, right now, I have Tekken 6, Tekken Tag. I'm a huge Tekken guy, by the way. Uh, Midnight Club 3 Double Edition. By far, my all time, one of my all time favorite racing, racing games of all time. Um, and like Mortal Kombat Deception, and all those games run so well on the PSP, it's unreal. Yeah, they do, like, they look so fantastic. PSP yeah. was such an underrated handheld, yes, it was. I, I, no, no, I wouldn't say I it prefer, was I, I, I over the Vita. would have said it's perfectly rated, it was oh, not it's underrated. It's great. I just felt like it didn't get a lot of appreciation that it should have. It was so good. I thought it was great. And that's just me. You know what I mean? Like, I I was late to the party. I got my first PSP in 2008. And God of War sent... No, not Ascension. God of War Ghost of Olympa. Chains of Olympus. Chains of Olympa. Thank you, Dan. Chains of Olympa had, had came out. And I remember playing that. And I was like, this is awesome. You know what I mean? Like it came with that. It came with like a Family Guy episode where Peter Griffin needs a Jew to do his do his money and shit like that. It's insane. It's like funny I've, shit. I've seen that one. I've seen that one, yes. Yeah, it's, it's good shit. Hey, let me ask you this. Have you watched Ted? Speaking of Family Guy, the new uh the new Ted series on Peacock? I've seen the movies, but I've never I haven't seen the series. Oh, the series is great. Matter of fact, the 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 main the main guy, John Bennett. The kid version of John Bennett looks mm -hmm. exactly like Davey. <laughs> like wow. a spitting like a spitting image of Davey. Like I'm about to Is there anyone picture. that looks like Big Vlad on there though? Ted. <laughs> so Vlad ah. looks like, Vlad looks like a teddy bear? <laughs> ah. I mean Are you creeping your way onto the list, sir? There we go. That's a that that's a good picture of Dave right here. It looks similar. It looks similar. You can't deny that. It looks similar. There is a similar vein. Do you know what I mean? Like they 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 look very similar. You know what I mean? But no, I'm not. I'm not. Well, you only know one person I've always thought looked like Davey was Rudy Charles from TNA. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Joey, that's horrible. <laughs> what? I can't look at that man the same now. <laughs> oh my Never god! Never the same. Never the same. <laughs> uh, shit. Dan Engler, that's his actual name. Yeah. The gentleman. Oh dear God! No! 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 David is. No! 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 What? Davey does not look like, no. He does not look like Rudy Charles. No, no way. No way. The, he looks like Krusty Krab. In the face, he to sort of does and to me, but okay. Just don't mention ice cream cones and we'll be all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Vladdy, if you see, see Davey, you got to mention ice cream cone. Will do. I'll be sure to mention ice cream. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's all I gotta say. Cause, uh, yeah, Davey likes to play with ice cream cones. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> what a what a weirdo. <laughs> Shit, I'd be laughing over here. So let me ask you some. What is your best match you've ever had? The best match that I've ever had. Alex Hammerstone. Well, I maybe not the best I've ever had, but Hammerstone was was definitely up there for last year's in terms of matches. Probably right. the best match I've ever had was against the guy who's now my tag team partner, ironically, Charles West. We had a two out of three falls match back in 2019, almost five years ago, and it was it. It, it was an electric night. It was electric night. Two out of three falls. I was the reigning and defending Diamond Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And we, we had about a 35-minute match. And it, the crowd was like nothing else that night. 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Lots, lots of fun, but I've definitely, I've definitely been able to curate some moments, and I'll curate another moment when I become the two-time brand spanking new SEC champion this Saturday night when I win that Iron Man match. I would say now this is a point where you got to do a promo, got those got the the, the kind of promo on the three guys that you're facing. But you've been uh, doing I, it all night. You know, you know, you know something. But if you, you, know you but if you want to do it, like, do it again. Go right ahead. If it's if it's one thing that Big Vladdy knows how to do, it's talk. So let's 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 just get this out the way. Yeah, let's go ahead. Jordan Jaw, you've reigned for quite some time. You've beat Wes Warren. You've beat Braxton Hunter. I never got my rematch. Facts. That will be vindicated this Saturday night. This is a test of will. A test of determination, a de a test of everything in our power, our strength, our speed, our ability, our our tank, if you will. Well, Big Vlad has a tank like no other. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm prepared to do whatever it takes. I will knock the heads of Wes Warren, Braxton Hunter, and Jordan Jaws off if I have to, and I believe I will have to, because I believe they will bring everything they have. But the problem is, is I will bring everything I have too. This is the single most important match that I've ever had in my career because of the test that's ahead of me. I really, really want to become SCC champion. I am obsessed with winning that title back at this point. I have been obsessed with this match from the moment that Jordy Pujo and his stupid face announced that this would be an Iron Man match. I don't take this test lightly. And this Saturday night, the talk is over. I have said that I'm going to prove that I am the better man, and I'm going to do just that. I will do whatever it takes. I will do everything in my power. I will leave it all in the ring, and dare I say, if I have to break a rule or two, well, rules were meant to be broken anyway. That SEC title, that 60-minute match, those three opponents in Pro Wrestling 225 need more Oh, yeah. Nice. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap this up. I want to thank the big bad Vladdy Daddy for being part of the show. Thank you so much. We've had a no very problem. fun time. I wish the check is in the mail, right? The check's huh? in the mail, right? Uh, Yeah, your check's in the mail. It'll be coming in. Good, Saturday. good, good. I would hate to have to hurt all three of you. Don't do that, bro. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't, don't be that Get guy. Get those crusty crabs taken care of. <laughs> I will. I will. I'll go to the doctor Look, tomorrow. We, we've got to go fund me right now to cure it, but it's it's only at like 10 cents. Yeah. Well, well that's because I think he's a sick fuck. People don't have a lot of hope. <laughs> with that being said, if you like this episode, please go on over to twitchtv.com forward slash World of Cafe Podcast and follow us on here. Also, don't forget to go on YouTube forward slash World of Cafe Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to that. Make sure you smash that notification bell. Away. Smash the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our content whenever we upload a video. Again, I want to thank Vladdy, the, my man, my man, my comrade. Well, I'll say my comrade. You know, my boy. For being a part of this show. And before we the wrap this up, is all yours. Before we wrap this up, I want to send it over to Vladdy. That way, this is the part of the show where you can shoot out your 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 socials, where you can get merch, all that good shit. So, Vladdy, please take it away, my man. There we go. Well, for merchandise, it's prowrestlingtees.com slash needs more Koloff. Or if you see me at the merchandise table, then I'm on Facebook at needs more Koloff. I'm on X or Twitter, whatever the hell we call it these days, at needs more Koloff. Instagram, you can get those sexy Vladdy Daddy pictures at needs more Koloff. I'm on threads too, but I really don't use that shit. But you can follow <laughs> me on basically all of my social medias at Needs More Cola because you need more cola. 
And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's episode needs more Gumbrum. That's right. And with that being said, this is the venomous one, Nick Venom, along with my two good friends, Sagley Crocker, and Dan the Mother Effing Man. And also, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to come check out Vladimir Koloff, Braxton Hunter, Jordan Jai, and the cold blooded Wes Warren. And that iconic, history-making, Iron Man Fatal 4 match that's happening this Saturday in Dillon Springs. Where at, Vladdy? Where's the, where's, the, where's the venue at? North Park in Denham Springs. The first ever in front of a live crowd Fatal 4-Way Iron Man match for the Pro Wrestling 225 SCC Championship. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, And I also want to thank Wild Thing for making us World of K-Fabe. The sponsor, the official sponsor of this pod of the of, of this podcast, of this of the show, of the of the event. Lord, I'm sorry guys, I'm a little buzzed. I, I do apologize for that. I fuck up. Your tribal king fucked up. Anyway, no. Uh I wanna thank Wild Thing for making World of K Fame uh two two five Take two. World of K Fame podcast. The official sponsor for Pro Wrestling 225's Iron Sharpens Iron. Thank you so much, brother. And with that, we had a great time interviewing the four guys that have been a part of the part of the match. Vladdy, we saved you best for last, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Just don't tell the boys that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here. Make sure to follow us on all social medias. Make sure you follow us on YouTube and Twitch. And with that. We love you. Thank you for two years. Thank you for subscribing to us. We're close to 200. We're getting mighty close. We're one subscriber away from 200. So please, what the hell are you doing? Subscribe to our account. Subscribe to our YouTube page. What are you doing? Go ahead and hit that. Smash that notification bell. Let me miss any of our content when we upload a video. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here. Gentlemen, as you know, the ultimate warrior. Nice Fuck it. It's publicly stated that. Damn it, who put that up? Is that $200 an hour? That's all. Oh, me gusta.